Logger Pro and using it to analyze a set of data to figure out what the equation of that data might be. In real situations, we would probably let Logger Pro gather the data itself by using a temperature probe or uh, a motion detector or some other automated way of getting data into the computer. What I've done is I've just put in some numbers for X and for Y. And you can see these numbers here when X is 1, Y is 1 half, when X is 8, Y is 32. If you look at this data for a little bit, you may be able to see what's going on. For each X, what I've done is I've squared X and then I've divided by 2. 1 squared is 1 divided by 2 is a half. 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 is 18. 3 squared is 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half, and so on. So the equation that is being graphed here is actually y equals 1 half of x squared. y equals 1 half x squared. I'm telling you that ahead of time, but we're going to work with Logger Pro under the assumption that we don't know what the, so the equation is and see if we can't figure out what the equation is, see if we can't get that answer. Uh, we may put a couple other points in here, say when x is 9, well, 9 squared is 81, half of that is 40 and a half, and when x is 10, 10 squared is 100, so half of that is 50. Notice that when I put in a new point, the graph automatically rescales itself. Sometimes we're going to have to force it to rescale, and when we do, when we want it to rescale itself, we go under the Analyze menu, and we go down to Auto Scale, and just choose Auto Scale. Or there's a key command for it, Command J, if you want to do it that way. I'll use the menu so that you can see what I'm doing uh, when I when you watch a video. Okay, so if we look at this data, it should be fairly obvious to us that there's a curve, that it does not follow a straight line. And so it's hard to look at a straight uh, curved set of data and know what the equation is. So what we would like to do is turn this graph into a straight line. It's called linearizing the data. So we want to do something to our numbers to force it to become a straight line, and that's what we've been doing with logarithms. So I'm going to add some new columns to our data that will allow us to change this graph and see if we can't get a straight line. So in order to add a new column, I'm going to go under the data menu, and there's two ways to add a new column. You can do new manual column, or you can do new calculated column. New manual column is fine if you want to type in each number individually. That's not what we want here. New calculated column will automatically fill the column according to some equation that we give it. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to choose new calculated column and it asks us to give that column a name. I'm going to call it log x and in the short name I'm also going to call it log x. And down here in the equation I want to tell it to use the logarithm. I could use ln or I could use common log, log base 10. I'm going to use log base 10, but it doesn't matter. We can use either one. And you can see it went ahead and put the parentheses in there for me, and the cursor is in those parentheses. And I want to tell it to use this column, the x column, for the equation, have that be the input to the logarithm. So under variables, and then in parentheses columns, I'm going to choose the column called x. And it puts that in there, and that's my equation, so I click done. And if I widen it out so I can see the numbers, you can see that these numbers here are the logarithm, log base 10, of the x numbers. All right. I want to do it again for the y's, so I will, under data, I'll do a new calculated column call it log y and then for the equation I'm going to choose the logarithm 
And notice log x is an, an option now. As soon as we've added a new column, it's now an option that we can make it an input into a new equation. But we don't want that here. We want the log of y. And there's our log y numbers. All right. So in the graph, I want to tell it to, instead of showing y versus x, I want to do different combinations of x, y, log x, and log y. So I'm going to leave y alone for, to start and change x to the log of x. Now this one pretty obviously is not a straight line but just so that we can see it filling the graph we will rescale here so I'm going to go under analyze and choose auto scale and we can definitely see pretty darn curved so y and log x not what we're looking for Maybe I'll change this one back to x and change this one to the log of y. And the way I'm changing these is by putting the mouse right on the, the label and clicking, and it pops up a menu for me to choose. And so I'm going to cho change this to log y. That's hard to tell. I don't know. Maybe that's a straight line. In order to tell better, I better rescale. Yeah, no, that thing's not a straight line. You can see it curve. So I've got log y there, but I just have x down here. If I click on that and change it to log x, then it's hard to tell, so I better rescale under analyze, auto scale. And that looks like a pretty good straight line. So we have found that the log y log x gives us the straight line and this software will tell us what the equation of that straight line is there's a button that looks like a straight line and if I hover over it a box pops up that says linear fit I'm gonna fit a straight line through that and if we click that it pops up a box that gives us the information for the straight line that fits through there it tells us the slope is 2.000 and the y-intercept is negative 0.3. So the equation of that line, the equation of that line is y equals 2x plus negative 0.3. The slope was 2 and the y-intercept was negative 0.3. It's actually negative 0 0.301. Negative 0 0.301. Okay, but it's not really that because the graph is actually uh, not y versus x. It's y versus, uh, it's log y versus log x. So, this y here should actually be log y and this x here should actually be log x but the rest of the equation stays the same and so now we can use this to solve to find out what y is the log of y equals all of this, that means y equals 10 to the all of this, 2 log x plus negative 0.301, which the addition up there means it's 10 to the 2 log x times 10 to the negative 0.301. If you type into a calculator what is 10 to the negative 0.301, you'll find out that the answer is 1 half. It's 0.5. This becomes 0.5. And this 2 can come up and become an exponent on here. So we've got 10 to the log of x squared which now the 10 to the 
and the log base 10 cancel each other out, and we've got x squared times 1 half, 1 half x squared, which, of course, we knew was the original equation, but we're seeing how the software gives it to us. So the important things are new calculated column, put in the equation, auto scale under the analyze menu, and then use the button for a linear fit once you've got a straight line, and it'll tell you what the equation of that straight line is.